Hey folks, Jimmy Ray here. I uh, I made a little box here for my kayak. It's a it's a power unit to uh, basically supply power to my new Lawrence Elite Four. Uh, it's a good little unit, color unit, chart plotter, fish finder combo. I received this for Christmas, and I mounted it in my kayak. We're not going to cover mounting the the depth finder or the transducer in the kayak. There's plenty of videos on that, but what I did make was a portable power solution, fairly cheap, and uh, I want to share it with you and, you know, maybe it'll help out. So what I've got here is I've got a uh, orange, as you can see, utility box. It's the half size utility box. Picked it up at Academy, probably 10 bucks or so, I think, for the box. And what I have done, you can see here. Uh, is I have added a to the lid I've added a 12 volt uh, accessory socket this is just a, a standard uh, cigarette lighter socket cigarette lighter plug uh, it's made by Marenco 12 volt water resistant they say waterproof but we'll say water resistant uh, and I've got a Marenco three prong um, I don't know if you can see that but it's a three prong a twist lock uh, you can get that at Academy also. That is like uh, a trolling motor plug, basically. And I'll show you what I use this plug for. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. Uh, what I've done is taking this box. One reason why I chose this box for the size, that you'll see, uh, are these 12 volt batteries these are game feeder batteries and they fit in there perfectly you see that or not but there's uh, there's no wobble I mean they slide in there tight so it's a perfect fit uh, these two batteries like I said they are game feeder batteries like deer feeder batteries they're made by they're made by wow let's see let's undo this let's see it Please. Okay, it'll be difficult. I'm trying to film and get this undone. For a second. Get off of there. All right. All right. Uh, the batteries are. Okay, let's see that in the light or not. Uh, they're Wild Game Innovation Adrenaline. This is long lasting model 12VB. Okay, they're 12 volts, like I said. Uh, I believe they're 7.2 amp hour batteries, which you know, one of these batteries would be plenty enough to power the, uh, the little Elite, Elite 4 depth finder for probably several days between charging but I chose to put two batteries in here so that I could uh, power other accessories as well and that's what that 12 volt socket is all about put the camera back up here so the rest of the junk in my shit okay alright now can we see that uh, not too well. All right, we're gonna have to wait. All right, what I did was I took these two 12 volt batteries and I hooked them up in parallel. For those of you that are not familiar with what parallel is, uh, basically what you are doing by wiring in this configuration is you're keeping 12 volts output, uh, but you're doubling the amp hour. So in other words, you're doubling the capacity, the runtime. And the way you rig these batteries up parallel is you take and come off of, let's start here, this is the negative terminal. On this battery, we'll call this battery 1, we'll call this battery 2, just for the simplicity of making this video. So I come off of the negative terminal battery 1, you see I wired around here, and tied it into the negative terminal on battery 2. I have to come off of this positive terminal here, same thing, wired it around to battery 2 on its positive terminal 
and then you can see here that's basically hooking this system in parallel negative to negative positive to positive come off of only one battery with your battery leads now if you were to come off of two batteries you'd be looking at more of a series configuration you double the voltage uh, in this configuration like I say you keep your 12 volts but you double the run time in other words you you basically add twice as much runtime to to your depth finder or whatever you're wanting to power with this all right so you can see I've come off of battery two, this one battery with my power leads okay so I've come off here my power lead and it runs down the side of the box over here to the lid okay I've got a 15 amp blade type fuse in line here kind of a bugger to open but it's just a you can pick that up at Napa or any automotive store uh, the, not that's not necessarily required for 15 amps you know that's a lot that's not really required for the damp finder but for that 12 volt socket that plug-in I've got over there if you're running a spotlight or something that might draw more amperage you know it's a good idea to to fuse this okay, okay. hold on just a second back to the video alright negative terminal off of battery 2 same way these are my cables running to my plug-ins uh, same way run around side the box here up to the lid I mounted make sure you can see you can't really see my sockets too good I wrapped them with a bit of foam just to keep something from banging around in there and possibly shorting out uh, you know something I might put in here by the way yeah, you know these two batteries like I said I've got them in the front of the box they're nice and tight I also added I don't know if you can be able to see it but I've also added there's a piece of aluminum channel down here uh, see that or not right here uh, I've riveted that to the bottom of the box tight against the batteries I've got one little piece of styrofoam down there separating the batteries just so they don't beat and bang together and of course you saw I've got a little velcro strap that I've riveted right here under the hatch see that rivet okay, and that, that straps everything down nice and tight so you could pretty well turn this thing upside down do whatever you want to do uh, you end up with a nice little storage area in your box for your cell phone I normally keep uh, a few spare fuses in a plastic bag I put that in there Oh, uh, okay, now i got a wasp attacking me. Nope, honeybee. Oh, uh, the unit itself fits nicely down in there. There's room in there for cell phone. And, you know, these boxes, they claim to be waterproof. I wouldn't go that far in saying waterproof. We'll say water resistant. But this is still a nice protective all-in-one little package here. I've got the power source for my depth finder, uh, so I can keep my phone and everything dry out of the, the elements. Uh, I can, you know, basically take this in and out of my kayak, and that's my whole unit stored in here nicely. All right, let's take a look at the cover. What's neat about it? I'll leave that in there. Okay. Again, you see how I ran my wires. The back side of the box so that you can open and close the lid no problem you want to put your batteries up front put your plugs that it has a nice little indention a nice little spot cut out in the box for those two sockets they fit just right you can see here this is the bottom side of a light that I'm fixing to show you I wired that in I ran the wire through the side of the lid to where everything's out of the way okay. All right, the bee really wants me Alright, now back to this. <clears throat> Let's start with the actual power. My intentions were to take the ends uh, that came, the, 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 the power supply ends that came with the depth finder uh, were just two tinned wires, a red and a black wire. And my original intention was to put a cigarette lighter end on it, a, a male plug in that would fit into here. But then I decided that, hey, I could use this box for other things. So what I did was I hardwired, also from Napa, auto parts store, 
I hardwired this little plug. Now, the way this wiring configuration goes on the inside, uh, you've got this wire which stays hot. This is not switchable. And I've got it jumping over here to the 12 volt socket. And then from the 12 volt socket over to the Marenco 3 pin twist lock plug. And then you saw inside over and around to the batteries on the inside. Okay, so it's pretty easy to wire up. All right. Uh, this plug, if you go this route, make sure that when you wire this, this exposed terminal right here, connect that to the negative lead on your batteries. Okay. Uh, that's just to, you know, I keep this in the hatch of my Pro Angler 14. I put it in the front hatch. And, you know, th these plugs come as a, as a pair, a set, uh, and a mating pair. So, what I do is, uh, I've got the other end of this on the, the power supply that came with the transducer. So, when I put this in my hatch, I just kind of bring the wire up over my hatch. And this is inside the little removable hatch. And uh, plug it in okay like I said important to make sure that this is tied to the negative terminal on the battery you want that shielded or insulated part to be connected to the positive terminal of the battery so this can rub hit something possibly your anchor I don't know if you have anything metallic in your hatch or if you wanted to make something like this put on the back deck you just don't want that to be able to short out all right so I'm getting too long winded here all right take a look at this this plug, the, where I normally fish, I'm roaming. My phone is roaming all the time, so my battery life uh, is not so great. So, with this little plug, I've got the little uh, Walgreens special cigarette lighter plug USB phone charger. I'll plug that on. You can see the light on. Right there. Okay. And I also keep this in that little bag. I plug that in. It's just my little USB cord. Plug that micro adapter into my phone. And I'm charging my phone. And you won't ever run those batteries down charging the phone. So that's dual purpose right there. Okay. I keep all that in that little plastic bag on the inside so it's all out of my way. Alright, now here's the other part to this. Uh, the Marenco. I wanted to make this neat contained to where you didn't have to open it up. There was no, you know, complicated system of charging the batteries or anything. That's what the three-prong plug is about. All right. Find somewhere. Put the camera. All right. I picked up this charger on eBay. It is a TDC battery charger model number B C A six six one two one five zero zero it is a 1.5 amp uh, it's basically a trickle charger but it, it does just fine to charge those two batteries it was about fifteen dollars on eBay it's a good solid charger it is a smart charger as well so you can leave it plugged in and it would just maintain the batteries in your box so pretty nice little system all right. Of course, the charger come with wall plug-in, which I left alone, and on the other end, it came with alligator clips. Okay, I cut the alligator clips off, and I wired the male part of that three-prong adapter. You can see the three prongs there. This is a Marenco. It comes as a set, so it's a trolling motor plug. Minkota also makes one, and uh, I wired it in to this. So when I want to charge my box, my batteries, all I need to do, put that in there, give it a twist. Okay. Take this, plug it in the wall, and we are charging. Don't even have to open the box. You can see here, it's got a little LED. Uh, this charger is kind of backwards from most chargers I've used like this. Green indicates charging. Red indicates fully charged. I think some of the other chargers I've used are the other way around. Red means charging. Green means good to go. Anyway. So there it is. Nice, stowable, sturdy, water resistant box. They say waterproof. Mm, not so much. 
water resistant for sure. Uh, you can power from this 12 volt plug. You can power anything that runs on 12 volt or a USB adapter. Uh, you could run 12 volt lights, your bait pump, you know, what have you. Whatever you wanted to put up in there. If you're doing some evening time fishing, maybe some lights or an underwater light. I mentioned the light that I'm putting the lid. This is a bait well light. I picked this up at Academy also. It was like $3. Uh, and I wired it into the batteries. You saw it inside. Put a little switch here with a waterproof cover. I think I've got uh, six bucks in this. But it does give me a nice little light to uh, light up my hatch. You know, tie lures on, you know, work. Well, it wasn't necessary, but I had it and I said, what the heck. Alright, so there it is nice contained unit uh, all in all I can tell you the batteries I picked them up at Academy wild game innovations 12 volts 7.2 amp hours uh, they were the most expensive part of the project but this to me is a lot better than putting a battery in a sack and throwing it in your hatch or whatever you know you can put this on your back deck of your kayak with confidence you can put it in your hatch you don't have to worry about anything shorting out the two batteries were about $20 a piece. So I've got $40 in the battery. I've got $10 in this box. I've got $15 in this Marinco at Academy. Marinco Troller Motor Plug. It comes with the socket and the plug. And I've got about 6 bucks in the, the 12 volt socket. You could get by cheaper, but I wanted the quality water resistant stuff. Makes for a nice neat install. And you know, hey, I'm going to use this. And, in a kayak so you know, I believe uh, I believe it'll last you can latch it all up right here and you're good to go hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps out if you got any questions comments post me thanks